Hi friends and welcome. So we made it to Sri Lanka and it's been a crazy um, like traveling experience. It was actually really straightforward. I say crazy but lots has happened. I feel like there's bags under my eyes. I feel tired. However, we did get here last night. I will make sure to insert some footage of like our room and what it looks like so that you guys can spot that. I've also um, taken like a quick footage of like what we ate but we devoured that straight after it was absolutely delicious but basically so the plan is for the next two days I'm taking you guys with me it's quite a funny one because it's not actually like a holiday holiday my partner is actually on a work trip it's a business trip so I've tagged along to Sri Lanka lucky me um, so I will have you all to myself tomorrow and we'll do lots of fun stuff I'm planning like a shopping mall trip um, gonna go down the beach down the pier maybe uh, and see how that goes maybe I'll venture out a little bit more if I'm brave enough so we'll see what happens I'm hoping to book onto a spa as well so lots of plans for me lots of luxuries which I'm super excited about as you can imagine as a mum you don't get to have much time for yourself and that brings me nicely actually to say that we did end up saying goodbye to him lots of mix of emotions because obviously we've not left him both of us at the same time like for a whole week so nanny and granddad have him and I'm sure he's going to be super spoiled and have lots of fun without us but at the same time I miss him so much as well um, I'm sure he's going to be absolutely fine I keep telling myself I'm like he's gonna have so much fun and everything and he's we I basically told him that he's going on his own little holiday anyway so what we are planning now is we are at the breakfast table um, my view is gorgeous and I can't wait to actually actually just to like relax have some food the plan for today is to go to Ape Gala I bet you I'm absolutely butchering the language with my British <laughs> but it's basically like a historical landmark like there's a museum there we're gonna have like New Year games so I'm super excited for those um, yeah so I'll take you guys with me and let's get the show on the road by showing you guys our room so this is the Galley Face Hotel and it's a room, sorry that it's a little bit dark, but we did arrive around the four o'clock mark and I'll quickly show you outside, but it's thundering, not exactly what we expected, but know that if you're coming here around this month, so anywhere out of November to April, then you should expect some rain. But basically this is the lovely room and lovely gorgeous hotel very much like city style hotel uh bed which is lovely and luxurious lots of pillows and cushions which is lovely uh here's the wardrobe i kind of liked the fact oh i already put my jump in here by the way but i like that they actually provide dressing gowns here as well so that's lovely because that will definitely get lots of use but plenty of space plenty of hangers a safe there if you wanted it a couple of drawers basically lots of room to spread out then we have the tea which is very important for a british person especially i've already warmed this up uh, i can feel that it's hot so i can't wait to actually try that tea out and we have had some new teas like a box given to us by the flight attendant on the plane which was super lovely because he was like oh you guys look like you like tea i think i was so eager to to have a cup of tea <laughs> because i've not had one for like 10 hours or whatever how long the flight was that he was like you guys look like you you really like tea it's either that or because we're white and british who knows <laughs> but basically he came back with a box for us which was absolutely lovely of him suitcases um, we've got a little table here no doubt we're gonna put our laptops on here uh, to do some work if we needed to obviously the view is stunning we have this plant or rather tree here with like lots and lots of like fruit in there I don't know for the life of me what tree it is but I'll definitely do some research and find out what it is um, and then we've got like the table and just like a chair which is good for just like a cozy maybe a reading nook 
if you are into that i actually had to leave my book behind in the end because it was just too big for the suitcase but never mind i can just about spot the sea over there so i can't wait to wander out after we freshen up so the other half is actually just freshening up in there as you can imagine it's been what 11 12 hours on a plane plus like three or four hours just at the airports and stuff so you can imagine that we needed a little bit of a break and that's exactly what i'm gonna do freshen up and then we're gonna go for dinner but before that here's a quick footage of the bathroom changed a few times already you would have seen us go to that festival at the 8 gala it was absolutely lovely and because it was like a work thing and excuse the noise from the waves honestly they're so loud like because it was a work thing we really felt like included within like this work family like authentic way of living their culture what they usually do it was absolutely like i felt so welcomed and i enjoyed all the things that they did as well like um i'm just so grateful to be here because it was a work event for my other half it just feels crazy to have been able to like participate in that and because it was part of like a business and that they are all living here and they're working here it's their like work event that they're doing it felt even more real and even more 
authentic. I guess it was just so lovely and I very much enjoyed it. I had lots of ice cream, even tried their fantastic curry with like coconut rice. Yes, I was brave enough, don't worry guys. And it was so like, it was spicy, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't too much. I enjoyed it with like the caramelized onion and that was delicious. But basically they took part in lots of games. We were obviously offered to play as well, but we weren't quite brave enough to participate. Um, but like, it looked like a lot of fun and we enjoyed just being part of the crowd and just enjoying the surroundings as well. So much history, they wore their like traditional garbs as well. So I can't wait to actually go to the market in a few days time and like, actually find like their sarongs that perhaps I could bring back home as well. So that was great. And then now basically we had some lunch, we chilled out at the moment. As you can see, we're like enjoying some waves behind me. Chris enjoying some waves as well. And um, basically the plan is to continue chatting to like the workish people because we had lunch with them. So I didn't actually film any of that but we're hoping to go to like a rooftop bar with like a swimming pool as well um, so probably gonna have a dip in the pool which will be nice but don't worry guys tomorrow you're going to have me the whole day because Chris is going to for some sessions work sessions so I'm all alone and I'm taking you guys with me so that'll be super fun and I'll catch you then Hey guys, I am back. I am back by the waves. I am super hot, it's humid. I've added so much hairspray to my hair. Yeah, I feel like it's done like a zero. It's done nothing. Um, I am actually all ready to go. So, you would have seen us go to the festival yesterday. You would have seen us see the most beautiful views from that rooftop. Actually, we were very lucky because somebody has bought a flat and that was their like infinity pool rooftop view in their flats. And basically it was so like amazing to be a part of that because it's actually with somebody living in Sri Lanka. So like, I don't think we would have ever experienced that if it wasn't part of like Chris's work and somebody who's actually like, like comes to the country a lot or like lives a lot of their like year in this country so that was a, amazing it's beautiful views so pretty and basically really grateful to have experienced that we then went for like a Japanese dinner so I didn't bother like filming any of that um, and today Chris is basically in the sessions most of the day if not all of the day so I have you guys to keep me company um, I took a super chilled out morning. This morning I went down to that cove again. There's basically like a sectioned off beach. Um, they say you can't swim in there. So technically not like a beach that you can like spread out and enjoy your like whole day in. However, it's lovely and like 
private and it was just nice to take some time to myself and just enjoy you know the waves the sounds the beautiful weather uh, tropical like feel to it that was absolutely divine then I got ready and basically put lots of sun lotion on as I said I've done my hair because that was like I went into a frizz ball because it is very frizzy if you are coming to the country I do recommend like anti-frizz everything for your hair which I have forgotten unfortunately but basically the plan is now to venture out of the hotel um, I was told that there might be protests outside it's actually a bank holiday in the country um, but there might be some protests I'm not quite sure why or who or, or whatever but basically um, I was told to just be be aware and mindful not to go into like the crowds or anything um, so I'll see how that goes and if all is clear I will basically venture out to go and see the beach so it's called the Gore Face Park or beach or something and then there's a shopping center I think it's one Gore Face shopping center or mall as they call it so yeah so that should be really fun and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it too so let's just go and have fun that's face Gore hotel where I just walked from took a little stroll up there and then as you can see the city some skyscrapers Lovely like little patch of park and then I'm going to venture out there in a second to have a look by the sea. So this lovely man actually told me that there was an elephant festival at which I got very excited. He started walking off and actually I stopped him and I said can I tag along please can you show me where it is and that's how we ended up traveling together please be safe guys when you are traveling especially when you are on your own I think as someone who grew up in East London I was very much used to that and looking after myself too but the ultimate thing that I knew that I had was the fact that I was on GPS I have an iPhone and so does my husband and so he can track every movement I was also sending him his name and his pictures and so that he knew my locations everywhere I went so I just wanted to make sure that don't do this yourself especially if you're not comfortable and especially if you are a lady and in a country and language that you don't know right so I'm at Booba restaurant at um, somewhere near I forgot what it's called like Lovington Lonely. I'll put this on the screen basically if I survive this so don't do this at home guys I ended up doing the ultimate sin of jumping into a tuk-tuk with a man I don't know but I felt like I was actually pestering him rather than the other way around <laughs> We ended up going to like the elephant festival and although we only saw them setting up because actually it turns out they didn't start in like at 12 they're actually starting at 5 30 in the evening uh which makes sense because like the weather gets better and everything at the same time we ended up going to the restaurant i've had a look actually i can walk here from here to the restaurant uh sorry to the hotel so i should be okay oh, you'll never see this if i don't make it i guess but very silly of me there were some times when i was like oh should I be doing this? Is this normal? I'm very naughty. My other half is gonna like tell me off. But I've been sending him tapes and I'm like, I'm with this man and doing this, you know, like I've got his number and stuff. So I feel like I was as safe as I can, I can be. I've been like doing authentic stuff. So seeing the town, not only like the central bit that was like really like, like, you know, city ish, but also like the authentic day to day people, normal people like we are, you know? It's, amazing and like being in this absolutely stunning restaurant to see this view I've got to get back obviously for my spa treatment at five um, but I have been loving it so far just catching up with this man called Roshan he's my friend now I've got his number and if he comes to London which he usually goes to Manchester but if, uh, if he comes into the UK I'm sure I'll catch him again hey, hey, hey. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Hi guys, I lived to tell the tale. 
I am safe and all in the room. Now, it was a crazy journey. I followed this guy basically on like outside the hotel, just kept walking, walking, and then uh, and this guy's like, well, there's a festival, so keep going, keep walking. Um, and basically, he kept walking, so I ran after him. So I felt like I was actually pestering him a little bit, but ultimately there's a festival that we took a tuk-tuk to um, in Colombo 15, I believe. So they've got zones a little bit like London. And um, when we got there, it turned out that actually the festival didn't start till uh, like 5.30. So I actually have a spa massage um, <laughs> booked for five o'clock. So I can't wait to go to that. That's in like half an hour's time. Um, uh, what we experienced basically we went to like a restaurant I had like a seafood curry which was amazing there was like some stray dogs there that I really like enjoyed just like looking at you know like the the horizon is absolutely stunning it's so hot even walking you're sweating it was like it was midday as well to be honest um, what else but yeah it was absolutely amazing just to see the authenticity of the city you know when you're in the city you see like the skyscrapers and everything but when you go outside a little bit you actually get to envisage and see like what people actually live like and that was really interesting so i really enjoyed my time and now i'm back safe and sound thankfully thank goodness i absolutely scared my husband to death i think but like throughout the whole journey i kept sending him like information like where i am my location who I'm with, pictures, videos, so that he knew exactly where I was and who with, so don't do this at home guys, make sure to stay safe. Um, and yeah, I basically used my gut instinct and my gut said, let's go and have fun. And basically I have now the spa massage and I can't wait to just relax, take my makeup off. Basically I'm getting a head massage as well, so that's going to be lovely. lovely room as always I just need to get ready and get on there to have my massage wow so wow that was two hours long full head to toe massage even my hair has oil in it and then a scrub and then I'll turn you guys around but basically um, this shower was what I was told to do, shower down because of all the scrub down there. So um, it's been absolutely luxury. <laughs> 